Good morning, Dennis Smith, and it's two-minute drill time again. I'm going to stay with the hog market because we've got a lot of things changing right now, a lot of new developments perhaps. Hogs limit up yesterday, expanded limits today. They're trying to stretch their legs again today. They went right up to the... Uh, last week's high in the August and if they take that level out they should be able to run for a while. A lot of things happening. First of all pork has gotten incredibly cheap and we are starting to see demand improve for pork. Consider this both domestic purveyor type demand and also export demand and not just export demand from China but from all of our major pork uh, countries, Mexico, Japan, South Korea, uh, Australia, um, everybody I think is probably getting involved. Colombia is another big uh, uh, customer of U.S. pork. So the, the trend is changing. Beef sources are telling me that beef is losing demand right now because pork has gotten so cheap. This is a real important development. News out of China, a Reuters report out of China, the government has indicated they are preparing to roll back tariffs and to do some other things to try to stabilize their trade. So they are setting the groundwork to be able to eliminate the 50% tariff on U.S. pork when they say it's necessary. So it's a little vague on the timing, but the, the political steps have been taken to drop the tariff on U.S. pork, regardless of where we're at with this trade war. This market's getting heated up. I look for upside follow through. I think this market's in the process of bottoming out and should show you some real impressive upside follow through. These are my thoughts and not those of ADM or of an ADM investor services nor are they the thoughts of Archer Financial Services. Thank you.